on probably was the uh, sack fumble because that was the most avoidable. I uh, had an opportunity to throw it, uh, kick it out there when it was hot, and I held on to the ball there. But uh, the others, you know, we, we got to we. I think he played very smart football this past week in comparison uh, to maybe one or two plays uh, at Utah that he'd probably like to take back. But uh, no, I, I, he's not a guy that's been prone to throw interceptions. I think he's thrown, uh, so he's thrown four, uh, which is two right now a game. Uh, if we can have a few games with zero, uh, he can get right back to his average. Uh, if you throw one a game, you throw 12 for the year. Um, if you could throw, you know, get a few games with zero, you can get that number down to about six or seven. Uh, so, he, you know, he's got to do that. He's got to, you know, strive for that number to get to about, you know, somewhere less than 10 for the year and uh, try to double the touchdowns. Uh, you know, you'd like to get the two to one ratio there or more. So we'll look for that. And, um, but uh, yeah, I don't, you know, I think that he's smart with the ball, doesn't, you know, doesn't take sacks. You know, there's only one sack and 76 pass attempts. So uh, that's exciting. What would you consider an quarterback? Starting with Jake. Yeah, well, he was close uh, with 70% completion. Um, you know, I, I think if you could get to that number every week, you'd be awfully happy. Um, I think the interception was the second to last pass he threw on the night or day. So, you know, uh, that was unfortunate in the situation. He certainly didn't have to cram a ball in there up 21 points. Uh, you know, so he could have walked away from the game. Uh, had a couple touchdown pass opportunities. Um, went to kind of a, to a different side, uh, which there was some opportunities there that, uh, so I'd love to walk away with a couple touchdowns at 70% completion and no interceptions. Uh, sign me up for that. And uh, he had that one sack, which was avoidable. So. Uh, we could have gone two games without a sack, which um, is a credit to all 11 I'm shots lucky. down the field. And, you know, third and five, we threw a go route uh, to JU. We uh, had a couple opportunities in the first game where we mm -hmm. launched some balls out there, and, uh, launched the ball out there the first play of the game. Uh, so uh, he doesn't seem afraid to throw the ball out there to me. Um, and then what he does do extremely well is he does move in the pocket and find check downs. That fourth and five was probably the best play of his uh, in the night. And then also um, there was a second and 17 where he moved forward and hit Ian Bunting and put us down there on the three or four yard line. I think both of those were huge uh, touchdown assists, I guess you'd say, that although it wasn't a touchdown pass, uh, we certainly credit him for being able to put us in that, you know, that uh, fourth and five, that sequence really of third and seven, convert it for a first down, penalty, third and 20, uh, get to 15 yards, allow us to go forward, fourth and five, find your check down and get a first and then score, uh, run the ball in there for a touch was a, a really good sequence for our offense.